Welcome to our video on our new spectroscopy product, the Q-Stick Optical Spectrometer, sold by Pembroke Instruments San Francisco. Our spectroscopy products are well known for providing very high performance and at the same time being very compact and cost effective. In this video, we will provide an introduction to the features of the Q-Stick, followed by a live setup and spectral data acquisition with a multicolored light source. The next thing we're going to do is test the Q-Stick with a reference light source. As, as shown here, this is what we're going to be using. It's a low power uh, LED flashlight that emits red, green, blue, and white light, very low power. And uh, that'll be very sufficient to, uh, you know, for this test run just to see how it works. Um, this is how the Q-Stick arrives in this rugged waterproof case. And you just uh, open it up here very easy and you can see the Q stick in the middle and the fiber optic cable wrapped around in the in the in the custom mold casing and we're just going to take the Q stick out and and do some size comparisons so you get a sense for really how small uh, the Q stick actually is we're going to uh, compare it to an actual USB memory stick which you have right next to it and as you can see, they're fairly close in size. Um, we'll just do one more thing for size comparison. We'll put a credit card next to both these. And you can see how much wider the credit card is than, than either of those two uh, devices. That's a standard size uh, cr credit card. So there they are, <coughs> all sized up. The next thing we'll do is you know, we'll take the card and the memory stick and we'll show you how to hook it up to the fiber optic cable and the computer. Again, two very simple steps, very easy. You could assemble the Q stick in, in 30 seconds. This is a standard one meter fiber optic cable SMA type. We're just going to take off um, one end here and screw it in to the um, fiber optic connector of the Q-Stick. Very simple. And then the next step is to attach it into the USB port of the laptop, which is which already has the Waves GUI software loaded onto it. And that's all there is to it. We're ready uh, for data collection. Okay, we're fully connected hardware-wise, and we booted up the Waves um, GUI software which automatically detects Q-stick spectrometer. And we hit the continuous uh, data acquisition button, one click, and we're co collecting beautiful data, as you can see. Um, we're on automatic exposure, so the software is setting the exposure time to maximize signal and noise and avoid saturation. And it's also automatically giving you the, uh, the wavelength of, of, of the prominent peaks automatically here it's shifting spectra because we're um, you can't see it from this view but we're adjusting the uh, the light the light source uh, to change uh, various compositions between the red the green and the blue <coughs> and also white light and the spectrometer is automatically adjusting um, to avoid uh, saturation keep everything on scale uh, at optimum conditions. If you look around the software, there's many st you know standard features. The thing about the Wave software, I would describe it as a type of software you can use very quickly without reading a manual, and that certainly was the intent to make um, uh, in, you know the software very powerful, but also very easy to use. We also provide a software development kit. So you could easily develop custom applications with, with, with the Q-Stick spectrometer. So this is going to be good for both the individual researcher and, and uh, people in the R&D laboratory as well. Very powerful, very flexible, very compact, and very cost effective. We hope this has been a very good introduction to the Q-Stick spectrometer for you.